Charles Richardson Show is uncensored and is for adults only. Mature or immature, doesn't matter. Walker, I am extraordinarily busy, sir. I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. Well, when does he get it? He doesn't. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under Section 37B of the contract signed by him, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc., fax mentis incendium gloria calcum, etc., etc., memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. But if I could give advice to the planet, it would be don't marry for looks alone, going either way. And, and I'll tell you why. In a few years, if Barbara's boobs start to sag too much, there's a place you can go where they can just lift them right back up where they were and they can move the nipple wherever they want them. You can actually go to a titty bar, pick out a set of titties and say, I want those titties on that woman right there. Right. If her belly gets too big and she doesn't want to work it off, you, you can go get a tummy tuck. They'll give you a belly looks like a cheerleader. You know, if, if your eyes go bad, you can have LASIK surgery and they can give you 20-20 vision at any age. If your hearing starts to fail, they can put a device in your ear that will make you able to hear as good as you could the day you were born. But let me tell you something, folks. You can't fix stupid. There's not a pill you can take. <laughs> There's not a class you can go to. Stupid is. <laughs> <laughs> choreography myself hey honey have you gained some weight in your rear end the dress you wear reminds me of my old girlfriend and where'd you get those shoes i think they're pretty lame would you stop talking cause i'm trying to watch the game if you're a man who wants to live a long and happy life these are the things you don't say to your wife planned a hunting trip next week on your birthday i didn't ask you but i knew it'd be okay but go make some dinner while i watch this fishing show i taped it over our old wedding video if you're a man who've done that a long and happy life is all the place you tell to to you solo okay Your cooking is okay, but not like mother makes. The diamond in the ring I bought you is a fake. Your eyes look puffy, dear. Are you feeling ill? Happy anniversary, I bought you a treadmill. <laughs> You're a man who wants to live a long and happy love that too. These are the things you don't say to me. You're a man who doesn't want to get killed with a knife. These are the things you don't say to me. Honey, you're spoiled. Ah! Hey, parents. Tired of those out-of-control kids? Throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go. At the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. You've had it with parenting. But wait, there is a solution. Introducing nap time, the latest, most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. It's simple. Just douse a rag with our patented sleepy time formula, place it over your child's cry hole, press and hold gently for 8 to 12 seconds, and presto, no more tantrum. 
I was beginning to think adoption was the only way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to nap time. It's never been so quiet around here. The secret lies in nap time's revolutionary fast asleep formula. Developed by military trained scientist doctors from NASA, nap time's powerful molecules rush to the child's brain on contact, gently inducing instant tranquility. This is chloroform. Already put those wallet draining crap factories out on the street? That's okay. Nap time works in any situation. On the golf course. An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. It even works on pets. After we had our first child here, we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much. <laughs> Talk about defective. But thanks to nap time, our little Samantha here hasn't made a noise in weeks. <laughs> I keep her in a shoebox. Call now and we'll send you your very own 24-ounce bottle of nap time solution for only 23 easy payments of $1.99. But wait, there's more. Act quickly and you'll also receive the all-new Dream Sack absolutely free. It's compact and portable for those on-the-go tantrums. Rooms. Just cover it, tighten it, and forget about it. It's that simple. We can't breathe good. So if this looks familiar... I feel pregnant. <laughs> then don't wait. Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying... Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Nap time. When they just won't shut up. Nap time is not legal in the following states. Florida, it's the Charles Richardson Show. Happy hump day, everybody. Hump it, hump, hump, hump. This is what we hump humping around. <clears throat> shalom, Bubba. Yes, shalom. It's it not even a hairball? Yeah, I think so. It is Wednesday, March the 16th, 2022. Welcome to the show, everybody. Oh, I'm so pissed. Oh, no. Now what? Well, obviously, you know, nothing's happened to my hair, except, you know, it's still in the mohawk. So, yeah. I, I, I went to Walmart right after I got off work, which is like six o'clock. Raced over there. And I went to go ahead and pick up some uh, some hairspray. Right? Uh-huh. Now, when you take a look at this, 
Uh huh. What is the cap color? Green. Right. You would think it's green. It's purple. If I was really pissed off, I'd spray the camera. Okay. It's purple. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Goddamn motherfuckers. Ah, yeah, I do that a lot. $2.77 <laughs> down the tubes. And no Why way. don't do it? Do it. Do it. Do the purple. What's wrong with purple? Do purple. No, because it's not St. Purple Day. It's going to be St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is over. Man, I need to be quicker on this. Patty's Day is over. I'll go on. Bye-bye. <laughs> Purple, Easter. Easter's still coming. No, I need pink for that. No. Yes, I like the pink eggs. I'll do the pink. Purple ones are cool too. No, but see, I already have dark hair, so purple's like doesn't really <laughs> match. I don't know. I think you should try it. Maybe. Why not? It wasn't. Just do it. No. Wasn't do the it. No, I'm not doing it. You'll be Nothing. your. You'll be. Alyssa said she color. was going to probably use it. So, oh, I can do my hair now. I was like, oh, pound tar. Yeah, that too. Go, go right, <laughs> go right ahead. Do your hair. Please not I, want not. Right. I'm still deciding if I want to keep this mohawk. I, I, I'm not. I'm not quite sure I want to. <clears throat> Why? I don't know. It. It. It's just. I, I wake up and I still have bedhead. <laughs> It's like, you know, I thought it would be easier to manage, easier to maintain. It's all over the place. It really is. It's like it's everywhere. I mean, literally, I could part this thing like and the it looks like a really bad toupee. You could part it like the Red Sea. Yeah. You're your okay. own. <laughs> except my, my sea, except <laughs> my sea would be it. purple. It would be the purple <laughs> sea. I oh, my, my. I hate fucking Walmart now. I really do. I, I, I don't I mind it them. because I, I order them. it and then Matt goes and gets it for me. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't want to go in the store. I'm not missing nothing. No, you know, you're not missing anything. Don't, don't yeah, you, you got that right. You're not missing anything. But mm -mm. Saying, it's like I'm not the I'm not the type of person to trust everything delivery right now. I'm not that I'm not I I'll trust ordering some canned goods and drinks i can't trust matt to go get it for me but yeah i don't have anybody like that okay well you can order it and go pick it up yourself no why because then you'll spend less money because you won't be in the store picking up whatever you'll actually think about what you order and then you just drive through pick it up and you never have to get out or deal with anybody or anything how am i spending less money i don't understand that i'm ordering because you're stuff and i'm gonna, I'm gonna buy anyway I'm driving there, which is used the same night. Uh -huh. as. How many times do you go to Walmart and get only what you went there for? Many times. I'm not a female. Uh, female? Bite yes. me. Yes. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you. Sorry. Who goes anywhere and just gets what's on their list? Me. 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 Well, you're, the, you're the rare ones. I'm not rare. Yeah, you are. You're rare. No. But when I take my time and I do my ordering, I always get exactly what we need. And I spend less because I'm not picking up other little things. Well, I, I kind of roam around Walmart saying, do we need this? Do we not need this? Would I like this? Would I not like this? It, it, it's, it's go, it goes in categories. Like the bread aisle is like, do we need this? The, the, um, the little Debbie aisle. Do I want this? <laughs> Meat aisle, fish aisle, uh uh the, we, is do we need this? That's that's always um, <laughs> fish uh, oil? Is that what you just said? Fish no, oil? I said I said the fish aisle, the meat aisle. Do we want do we need this? There's 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 different aisles that are like needs and wants. Like go to the bakery. Do I want this? Most of the time it's no. Don't need that. Do you buy it? 
I'm not going to. I plead the fifth. Aha! Aha! I don't have to disclose all of my shopping uh-huh. habits to you. None. In other words, I'm right. I didn't when say you, that. What, when you do it online and you're looking at your cot and you're seeing what you're getting and you're looking at the amount of money you're about to spend, sometimes a few things might take a hiatus back into the store and you, you realize where you're at. People, you, you don't do that when you're in the store. do online ordering and they don't over order online too. Come on now. I personally am more thoughtful with my buying when I take my time online. Well, again, you're the rare ones. Well, again, yeah, the rare ones. Why? Because I'm living in the 21st century? No, there's a lot of people living in the 21st century that just basically splurge on Amazon. Don't t- say you don't know it. There's a lot of people that just go ahead and splurge <laughs> and buy everything under the fucking sun on Amazon. Oh, do I need? I don't know. Let me just order it. We'll find out later. And they, they and later comes, they don't need it, but it's too late to return it. Uh-huh. And the two can be returned. Anyway. Yeah. Anything can be returned. Of course, I'm Anything. not saying I'm not saying I'm not saying it can't be returned, but you're too fucking lazy. And I'm talking to the people that overorder. You're too fucking well, again, lazy to return it. I think that you are per, uh, projecting yourself onto others. Yes, I am. And it's not true. I've done that a couple of times to to people. Uh-huh. I, I, I've I've projected myself onto somebody and they liked it. Just saying. Not everybody does, you know. You got to leave a little space, oh, yeah, yeah. especially You're in right. the COVID era, man. Not everybody does. <laughs> so sometimes it ends in multiple orgasms. Other times it ends with a need of the crotch. I mean, you just got to pick your battles. Everybody it, does that need of the crotch. It's like that's just so. It doesn't even work that well. Okay. Take a pen and stab them in the eye. It works go, way better. I'm just go, saying. Go, I mean, ahead, you know, go ahead and go, or the go, ear, the pen into the ear. That works. Go ahead too. and grow grow a testicle or two. And and, uh, and uh, uh, excuse and, me. And then, and then you I'll think you need it. testicles to be badass? Did you learn nothing from Betty White? No. If you I'm want saying, something that can really put up with a pummeling, you want a vagina. So again, off to <laughs> your the knee to the crotch doesn't really work that well. I'm over here thinking. You want to get knee to the crotch with a set of testicles and a, a, a cock? Yeah, it ain't gonna. It ain't, you're not gonna. You're not gonna have a good day. Oh God, listen to you. The just testosterone saying. oozing out of your pores is I making me nauseated. I wish I had testosterone ooze out of my pores. <laughs> God, I think you shaved it off last uh, Monday night. Possibly, <laughs> possibly yeah. you had to trim it up down there. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what's so, going uh, on in the world? So not much. So how's 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 life over there in the the, the Connerton household? Why is how's it the uh, Connerton how's... household? Huh? Why isn't it the Jenny household? Why is it the Connerton household? Uh, Way to be misogynist. Fuck you. How is it life in your fucking house? My household is wonderful. Hi. You sound bitchy. No, not really. Okay. You sound like <laughs> everything triggers you off. Nah, a little tired. A little tired. The old body beautiful is breaking down. I got to get my tune up Monday. <laughs> ah, is that what you guys call it? That's what I call it sometimes. It's, I was like saying, I thought you get. It's you like getting an oil something. change. You know, I go in, they infuse me for an hour. So it's like getting an oil. Ch- I mean, four hours. Oh, it's you're like, talking. Oh, you're talking about the medical infusion. Yeah, Monday I go in for my infusion. It's a four-hour infusion. It's like getting an oil change. I go oh. in, they tune me up. I'm good to go for a few weeks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's so many things I could go ahead and say. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not. Go ahead not. and try. No, I'm not. Go ahead. You got shit. Yeah, I do got shit. You got shit. I got shit. Oh, there she goes. You better get the big air filter again. That mouth flaps. I'm, I'm, I'm just, See, I I'm can just, come I'm up just with wondering how I can how... rib on myself. Yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> There's let's, nothing you're uh, gonna take, say. Let's take a look at some comments here. Easy G is in there. It says hi, surprise, surprise, happy un- birthday. Okay, uh, Mr. T Man, Teapot Man. Hey, um, nice. <laughs> Easy G. Hi, Easy Scott, G. Scott Hall. Easy yeah. G. So the wrestling world lost Scott Hall. Um, yeah. A couple of days ago, it just kind of sucks because it's like you know. <sighs> He had a great career in WWE and WCW, and then you know his his life takes a tailspin, 
he gets down on everything and then all of a sudden it's like oh he's getting help he's getting better and and then all right we're gonna go under the knife here and he gets a blood clot and three heart attacks and <clears throat> he's done yeah. it, it's just sad it, it, Scott, if those of you don't know scott hall used to be razor ramon and uh, I think a couple other names too, but Razor Ramon and Scott Hall usually are his two uh, personas in wrestling. Uh, Scott Hall is actually his real name. And uh, then Easy, you see, this is why I got to get with Easy G when we get up there over the weekend on uh, WrestleMania weekend. We got we, me and him got to watch the got to watch the show. <clears throat> he says prayers for Big E. Big E took a nasty suplex, landed straight on his melon. Oof. It turns out. Ouch. Had, don't turn, do that. Oh, it turns out broken neck. Oh, <gasps> shit. He is not paralyzed. Luckily, the he he described it in a certain way where his ring around the neck fractured, but did not was not displaced. He says he does not need surgery, which is a good thing. But they're saying that this injury could be done for his career oh absolutely yeah yeah but I there's mean, been there's been people that have come back you from get that team. lucky i don't know if you want to keep pushing it <laughs> yeah but the, the, there has been wrestlers that have come back with uh with suffering broken necks before but i, I again i think most of them needed surgery they don't this one not not so bad but because of that ring i forget what they call that ring around his uh the shoulder and neck area um they said that Apparently. I can't think of it. Yeah, it's it's like a, an A ring or something like that. I don't know. Uh, definitely not an engagement ring. But uh, no, they're they're saying that ring didn't need surgery. It can fuse up, but sometimes it heals. Most of the time, it heals wrong, and that's where things could get kind of you know hazy. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so absolutely. So yeah. It, it's 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 really not looking good for WrestleMania right now. They well, Scott Hall, of course, has been retired, but Big E was supposed to be in a big match in WrestleMania, and that's obviously not going to happen. Um, a lot of, I mean, a lot of a, a lot of wrestling news going on for those that keep up with it. Um, in other words, for those who don't, this is what you call a male soap opera. Yes. Although I will admit to being a wrestling fan, I personally love the Hardy Boys. Oh, you love them now, too, because they went to AEW. Yes, mm -hmm. and they're back together. Yep. And I saw an interview where they were using some old lingo that I like. Things like "delete, delete, delete," <laughs> which is not that old, actually. That's actually Matt Hardy. I love hearing that broken brilliance. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I think I, he's going to use yeah. his character a lot more now. I hope so. That was such a fun, fun storyline to follow. That was so much to be laughter about and. And Senor, and, and it's just freaking yep. awesome. Yep. Just really awesome. Yeah, I mean, listen, if 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 you're going to go to a company that is going to allow you full creative control and you don't bring back that, there's something wrong. There is really something wrong if you don't bring back that character. So we'll see what he does. We'll yeah. see what they end up doing. <clears throat> Apparently, Cody Rhodes, who's one of the people that started the whole damn AEW, at least creatively, is no longer with AEW and maybe coming back to WWE. <laughs> As a matter of fact, a lot of people are pushing that. <clears throat> wow. You all right uh, there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. yeah just a you little. got another hairball? I think I told so. You not to eat the hair. The head. All the hair exactly. that came off my head is going in my I told throat. you not to eat the hair off your head. It's not a good source of protein. No, it's not. <laughs> I can definitely tell you that much. I now I know why cats always choking up. Anyway, but yeah, Cody Rhodes is actually heading to WWE by Good. multiple by multiple people coming, and it looks like uh, he's going to be uh, probably facing Seth Rollins. So we'll It'd see. Be interesting to see where things go, and if WWE like, I don't know, makes a better comeback. They seem to be making a lot of poopy decisions lately. Oh, I yeah. can say better words. Shitty decisions. I forgot. We get, I'm on blue time now. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. on Fuck purple. Fuck you. You're on purple. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's Crystal? 
<laughs> She's not here yet. Damn it. I better slow down. <laughs> Easy G says happy Prince Spaghetti Day. In yeah, it's Wednesday. Spaghetti? Is that is that really a thing? Prince yeah. Spaghetti? Uh, yeah. You don't remember the commercials? <clears throat> no, I don't remember. Anthony. Grandma's hanging her head out the window on Wednesday. Anthony. And it's Prince Spaghetti Day. For many yeah, New Englanders, Wednesday is Prince Spaghetti Day is more than just a clever advertising slogan. It's a real life dinner time tradition. Do you remember Wednesday is Prince Spaghetti Day? No, I can't. 1969 Prince Spaghetti. I apologize. I wasn't born yet. I wasn't anyway. born in 69 either. I was born in 71 and I still fucking know it, you dumbass. No, I don't know. You probably knew a lot more than I did. It yeah, I do because I live out. in New England. In it, New England, it's a thing. It probably fizzled out like by Catholics time I was having born. fish on Fridays. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh my oh, there's god. Actually, so there's actually a brand of spaghetti called Prince, huh? Yes. Oh, okay. Seriously, I didn't know you that. don't know that? No, I they don't have, have that. It down here. They don't have it down no here. No kidding. I just kind of assumed that was like a generally nationwide brand. It's a huge section of the grocery store for Prince products really yeah that's sauces that's, that's, pastas oh my everything yeah, that's got to be a new england thing or at least up to, it's not down here all the good shit is never heard of never, never heard of prince spaghetti i mean we got the ragu the botelli we got the <laughs> we got that shit yeah that's shit i don't know <laughs> oh like prince spaghetti isn't any better I mean, come on. Prince it's it's processed it. pasta. What are you going to do? Depending on what you buy. I mean, too many more what I'm buying. I'm buying Prince Spaghetti. It's a box of processed pasta. It's true. It is true. Come on. How, if you how ever get a chance to get homemade pasta, do it. It's absolutely amazing. You know how uh, close I was amazing. to buying a pasta maker? I was really this close. And I don't know that I'd go that far because it's not good for your health. We what were you talking about? I went to a restaurant where they made their own pasta. It was fucking I, amazing. I thought that would be awesome though. Pasta, that's a that's a lot of carbs. It's not that great for you health wise. Like the bread that you make isn't a lot of carbs. Actually, it's not that a lot of carbs because it doesn't have a lot of the processed crap in it. It's four so ingredients. Why can't, you, why can't you make spaghetti out of the non-processed crap? That's what I'm saying. You have a pot, your own pasta maker. You make your own pasta. Ooh, you sounded that you... quite nicely. Pasta maker. <laughs> you thought you were going to slip that little sucker right by me. I, I did the it. first time. This is the second <laughs> time I said it. But no, you, really? you, have, you have your own you have your own machine. I wonder, yeah. I wonder. Oh, maybe no. you could. Maybe you could. Yes, you can. You can make but no one eat a lot, but I don't I make bread, but I don't eat it in an overabundance. I'm reasonable with my partaking of my carbs. I, I, I get that. But I eat way saying, more proteins than carbs. But I'm just saying, I think it probably would be a lot better if you had and made your own pasta. Again, you control what you put in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Anything uh, you can make from scratch is going to be better. 603, better. 603, area yeah, code in New Hampshire. What's up? Hey, it's easy to do. I tell you, I'm the worst. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the worst. I, 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 I'm always refusing to put my glasses on, so I rubbed on the wrong number. So I called somebody in Florida and said, hey, it's easy to do. And the guy says, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, my God, I, I, I can write the wrong number down. I'm so stubborn. <laughs> You know, I think my glass. I think my eyes are good. Like I'm 20 years old, but I'm 54. Like on May 1st, it's like, but I'm yeah. so stubborn. I say, I'll put my glasses on. Guess what? I write down the wrong number, and I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, when you when you see me in a couple of weeks, you'll That's see awesome. how thick my glasses are, and I'm only 44. Yeah, as far as, as, far as WrestleMania goes, is it, it, yeah, it's pretty sad now. You know, Big E's gonna be out for a while, and Scott Hall died. You know, at least you're doing the right thing on Friday. They're having the 10 bells, I guess, at the beginning of the show. So you just died on Monday, so. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they had. If enough he doesn't deserve the ten bells, who does? You know, two-time Hall of Famer. I never seen that guy in the early nineties at Worcester Center. I was there like seven hours. <laughs> like nineteen ninety, they were, you know, they didn't have the uh, Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, all that stuff. And he would come out, you know, three, he was there. He would come out like three or four times, and because they were, all these shows were an hour, you know, and they put it in the can. I, I was even on TV. I was on the third row. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember going to I remember going to Monday Night Raw back you know, uh, back a little wise, and uh, they they doubled it with uh, Sunday Night Heat or something like that. And it's right, like oh, I was we, there like seven hours. It was oh, it was the yeah, greatest night ever. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's fun. It's fun to go though. It's fun to go. Yeah, I've been like I've been to wrestling lot, probably about fifty times. I'll be so the last Boston Garden wrestling. Nice. Very that was nice. a great show. Yeah. Very nice. So, so who are you excited right, to see? But anyways, you, getting back. I'm sorry. Who are you excited ah! to see in WrestleMania? Uh, uh, say that again. Who are you excited to see in WrestleMania? What match are you looking forward to? Uh, well, since I, I know what I hate about wrestling now is they they already told you who's going to win. Is that Rock Lesnar is going back to Canada, so you know Roman Reigns is going to win. And then uh, the man there is regarded the nickname Becky Lynch is takes the time off to play with a baby, which you can't blame her. So you know she's going to lose. So I hate that. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's, it's kind of already a telltale sign of what we, who's going to win. Tonight. Right. So I'm not. You know, I like WrestleMania and stuff. But I'm a big fan of wrestling, obviously. But I I hate that. You know, back in the day, you didn't know who was going to win. You know, it doesn't. It, it it may not hurt to have Brock Lesnar take the belts and then drop them the next night or drop them on Friday. You know what I'm saying? It may not yeah, be a well, bad according day. to what I read. Though I think Reigns is going to hold that belt until he goes to goes to Hollywood with his, with his cousin there, uh, or his relative, uh, The Rock. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah, and they're gonna keep the belt on him as long as like as long as he he wants to be wrestling, and then when he's tired of it, he'll, he'll drop the belt and we'll never see him again. Hey, what about Edge and AJ Styles? Edge went ahead and turned major heel. Uh, do you like his character the way he's portraying it now? And uh, oh yeah, Edge, yeah. Do you think AJ is like gonna come guys, on top? I do like Edge. Yeah. Do you think Edge uh, Edge is gonna come out on top? Or do you think AJ is gonna handle it? Uh, I, I don't know. AJ, uh, I think his job lately is, is is I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's a toss up. Yeah, they got the uh, so, Edge is, you know, Edge is very part time, but he's uh, he's he's been he plays incredible matches at his age with a broken neck. Yeah, well, you know what, and th- and that's what we were talking about with Big E. Yeah, Big E has a broken neck. Who? It's not a full guarantee that he's gonna, re- you know, it's gonna be the end of his career. It's gonna be a long road back, but may not oh, be the yeah, end of definitely. his career. No surgery is required, but still, a broken neck is a broken neck. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like a buddy of mine always says, you know, even though in uh, their glorified uh, entertainment, but if you do fall the wrong way, like he did on uh, on Monday night, he uh, can get really injured. Right. You'd be surprised at how that guy, uh, uh, that guy he, he, he's not really around anymore. He has uh, all the problems with his heart. Yeah, well, he's probably in behind the scenes. He's probably doing the front office like he's. I know what team. I hear. He's not even doing that anymore. <clears throat> oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Dude. Well, he used to do NXT behind the scenes, but now his buddy Shawn Michaels is doing it. And, uh, Whatever, of course, you can't read it, maybe you read online. Yeah, but what I read online, he's not really doing anything, just trying to keep track of his health. Well, the way NXT so went ahead, our problem is, is worse than I think most people think it was. The way NXT changed brands, you know, he ain't running it no more. That was horrible, right? I, but yeah, so I don't I don't think he's doing, doing anything right now, he's just trying to stay alive. Yeah, so I mean, his days in the ring are over now. <clears throat> so, here's what's going on right now. Of course, more matches are probably going to be added on. So WrestleMania is two nights, which, by the way, I hate. I hate the two nights. Oh, I hate it too. That means yeah. I have to take two fucking nights out of my my life, and I have to watch wrestling. So yeah. n- night I, number I don't, I don't one, watch it no more. No. night number one, which I think is an insult. They're having both singles titles for the women being defended on night one. What? They're not good enough to be on night two. Is that what it is? Yeah. Charlotte Flair, know. Ronda Rousey, yeah, 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 and then, yeah, 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 it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think they're they're really they're they're, they're starting it's, to piss it's like, you know, off. No, no, I don't think you hate this trials, but I hate it when they go to Saudi Arabia because I'm not really fans of that country, even though we're supposed to be friends with them just for their for their oil. Yeah, but they they uh, they let the women wrestle a little bit more now. It's like wow, they let them wrestle a little bit more, and they, of course they have, they have to wear fully clothed and stuff, and they have all these rules. Yeah, I, I hate it. I hate it when they go there. It's just a cash grab. That's all it is. At night number two, I think it's just a real freaking. Th- the only match that I like right now, the only two I, I like the Brock and Roman fight and the Edge and AJ right. Styles. The other three matches are really BS because you have Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. Johnny Knoxville is not a wrestler, and then you got Pat yeah. McAfee against Austin Theory, which is just that's ridiculous. Well, what is that? that That's two crap matches at night number two, which is supposed to be the finale. I mean, night. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't uh, I thought I thought Vince McMahon was wrestling. No, no, no. I, well, not yet. He hasn't made that announcement yet, but that could come down. We don't I know. Hope not. The guy's way too old to be in the ring. Come on. No, yeah, I th- and that's why I don't think he's going to wrestle. 
A lot of people were saying that he was uh-huh. going to wrestle to go ahead and just retire. Overall, I I, I have to say this, but I think this this year's WrestleMania is uh is not very good at all. I'm I'm not a fan of it right now. I'm kind of no. looking I'm kind of looking forward to uh seeing Stone Cold in the ring, but you know he's just coming there for an interview. He ain't gonna he'll 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 throw, oh, yeah. drop well, a he couple of stunners. Stunner, he might hit the stunner and then leave. You know. Yeah. He, he, he's too banged up. Yeah. He'll he'll go like out Hogan there. And Flair, they can't they can't wrestle anymore. Those he, guys are too old. He'll start slinging his three sixteen beer, which came out today, by the way. Oh, uh, three sixteen today, yeah. Yeah, so he he came out with his beer today, uh, and yeah, it's it's Stone Cold's the offense day three sixteen. Well, when I had that extra channel, <laughs> it cost like a billion dollars for cable. I get rid of it, but I did watch the whole match. I mean, the whole interview with Chris Jericho. He's yeah, still in AEW, and I listened to the whole thing. It was like two hours. It's like wow, that was really good interview. That, that, he's a great interviewer. Have you listened to some of his shows? I have. The, yeah, uh, Jer- yeah. Jericho, Jericho is really good, and and Austin, they're they're both good interviewers. Believe it or not, surprisingly, Austin. I That's can't what he does that. now. He has a podcast now. He, he interviews all these wrestlers. Yep. Yeah, he's doing he, really he, good. He, he's good at it. Oh. So where where is a good place up there to watch the wrestling gigs? Is there any place up there oh, that God. shows I, it? Oh, I know that Chunky's Chunky's does it. I think, and they don't do it in Manchester, but I think they might do it in Nashville. I know. I think Texas Mike has gone there. He's always a chunky kind of guy. Yeah. Not yep. really what we want. He, 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 he pays like a, a big amount of money. He has like a five, six course meal and he has like a movie or, or a, uh, God, what do you call it? A comic comes to the town and he, he, he does that stuff. It sounds like 60 bucks. He's a something. man about town. Yeah. It sounds like it. Chunky. But I think they do. They, I think they do WrestleMania in Nashville, but I'm not sure if they're doing it this year because uh, it's a new year. Yeah, I really heard it. I haven't really heard it. I really haven't investigated it. Like you go, obviously you go on Google and think Chunky's a natural and see if they're they're hosting. It's, it's never that expensive to go. It's like uh, it's very inexpensive. Where what uh, what what city is that in? It's, I think it's a natural. Chunky's natural. Chunky's movie theater. They have one in Manchester, but they don't do WrestleMania. They they've done that some of that cage fighting stuff, and I don't care about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at it. I'm gonna see what's going on. <laughs> but uh, don't don't call me because this is New Year's, so they might not do it anymore. So well, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. But yeah, right. we, uh, we, yeah that, we got... you, 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 say, you say watch wrestling at the Hooters here in town. Was was here for a couple of years. You ever been to a Hooters, Charles? Yeah, I've been to Hooters. Don't. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people there. My soon to be wife she, she she told me not to go there anymore. So I, Je- I, I listened to her. So. Je- Jen, Jen, Jenny's gonna. Like, I don't want you hanging out at Hooters. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find a watch party, man. We gotta all get together. You, me, Texas, Mike. We all gotta get together. Watch this. Yeah, uh, watch fun, this. yeah. Oh yeah. One last thing too. When I go to the grocery store, I probably spend way too much money myself, especially when that when it's holidays like Easter or Valentine's or Christmas, and they have all that candy. Oh, yeah, I spend way too much money on that junk. Oh, but I always wait till it, it goes on sale. Wait till the holiday's over. Yeah, exactly. You want you want the yeah, candy? Just wait till it goes. A, I'm always a sucker for that stuff. I said, I'm not going to buy anything, and I end up buying like twenty dollars worth of candy every week. Yeah, you wonder where the money goes. Don't do that. We were just talking about True, what I know, but I, 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 I don't do it every week, by the way. But I really just give it all away. Anyway. Uh, I think it's a great idea to treat yourself to candy. Yeah, especially some not every especially week though. Dark chocolate. Week. Yeah. I need some candy, just not like the diabetic. So, so candy. are you are you coming to town in a couple of weeks? Are really happening? So I so I am leaving thursday the 31st i should be up there by saturday saturday probably i think i I I heard you on the match show a couple weeks ago saying you're you're, you're gonna try to be on his show i'm trying to i don't think he wants me on there but uh, i'm I'm gonna try oh nice yeah i I suppose we can see it after you leave oh really (laughs) Yeah, I, I'm, I I'm, 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 you know, I'm asking if he wants me to come. I, I don't think he really does because you know he, he knows I'll hog the spotlight and he's gonna have to go ahead and hit the dump button like seven million times. But, <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right. He's good at that though. He, he can hit as long as you button. can mind, yeah, nah, nah, nah. as long as you can mind your mouth, we probably will let you on. I'm and sure Jenny, you will. do I yeah. mind my mouth? Yes, you have to mind your <laughs> mouth. Otherwise, I'm, you can I'm come. Saying, I'm saying, do I though? If you're going to be on air, you're gonna. Anyway, not a clear yes or no answer. Kind of sounds like my wife. Oh, yeah, um, one last question, Charles. Fight me. To find Fuck you. I keep losing my, my Facebook feed on your show. And I uh, you know, I hate to say this, but I really sometimes did hate Facebook. Facebook can be like Easy. the devil. I just, oh, I, you, 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 you got to stop the hate speech. Otherwise, it's going to come back on us. Don't do that. Easy. Oh, all right. well, I, I dislike Facebook a lot these days. 
Well, I was trying to get back on on the on the, to see you on on the Facebook, but I, I kept getting kicked off. Yeah, yeah, I, I I tend to like Facebook less and less. That's all I'm going to say. I don't say hate. Yeah, me too. Less me less. too. Me too. All right, well, hey, I'm going to clear the air like Ron says up here in New Hampshire. So, Yoo-hoo, uh, easy G. Easy G, right. can you hear me? Uh, Jenny actually has a question. Yes, I can hear you, Jenny. I saw your your private message to me, and I sent you a link to the Facebook feed and to the YouTube feed. Yeah, try YouTube. Oh, good. Well, I, I can't see that when I'm talking to the, to the show, so I'll see when I hang up. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, right, Easy G. Hey, hey you, want to, you want to hear? You want to hear a quick Amanda McCarthy uh, uh, thing happened today, Charles? Uh, okay. Well, her new her new single came out today. Don't stop me. And we can talk about this on your show, but she uh, she more or less is uh, in the video or Don't Stop Me when her album comes out tomorrow. Is she flips off the camera about a hundred times, both fingers. <laughs> I never seen that before, Amanda McCarthy. She went to the dark side today. <clears throat> yeah. The dark side. Well, the story line is mm-hmm. people didn't respect her music and thought she was going to be a total failure. She's telling everybody, "F you." Yeah, she's going to the dark side. Right, I never seen uh, that side of her before. Well, it's Amanda McCarthy. Maybe she has yeah, more than three sides. On, she's going to be on the match show in a couple of weeks with Tom oh, on boy. April twenty sixth. Oh boy! Yeah, and Katie <laughs> Dobbins is going to be on the phone, so. Gonna be a love fest. Well, oh, I'm sure. I appreciate the update. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and treasure yeah, so that. We'll see you in a couple weeks. I look forward to that. It'll be fun. Yeah, definitely. Even if WrestleMania is a, is a disaster, it'll be fun to meet you. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. Night night. Right, well, clear the air and I'll listen to the rest of the show. Thank you very much for accepting my phone call. You got it. take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, there's Easy G. Yes, <clears throat> he won the only, and he left without putting any egg on his face. Very good. It's true. See, see what happens when they come on my show. There's no egg. He even, he even heard me. He heard you because well, you, no, heard me, heard. I said her, heard that. Heard you, like, like, sh- like sheep. He heard. No, you. heard. Like I spoke, and it went in the uh-huh. ear, and actually stayed there. Unlike well, you, that's even because with the headset on, it still falls the fuck out. That's because my phone system, I think, is a little bit more better than Matt's. Honestly, a little uh, bit more better, more, more better. better, more better. What yeah. in the hell? Yeah, it's a Charles. No, while no, because while he was message, while he was talking to you, he sent me help. I keep losing Charles' show on Facebook. Can you post the show on your Facebook page, graciously? Which I had already done, so I thought it better to just give him the links in his chat. Yeah, that's good. I appreciate it. Appreciate I didn't want him to think I was ignoring him. No, you're not ignoring him. And even if he was, or if, even if you were, still, wait. Wait your turn. Okay. Wait your turn. Yeah, yeah. 813. Oh, excuse me. I'll, 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 do what, I'll do what Matt says. Well, that frees up our phone line. 813-5353. <laughs> Let's hear your best Matt impression. My best Matt impression? Yep, let's hear it. We're probably sponsored by the Hobnod here on uh, right there across Elm Street. It makes me so excited to go ahead and see the Hobnod right across the street. It makes awesome. They have great craft beer, gourmet pretzels, and uh, just the best. Tell us more, Trudy. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Uh, anyway, 813-699-5353. <laughs> so what is this Jesse Smollett crap? Holy shit, right? Apparently, if you whine loud enough and you get enough money, you get let out of jail. Wow. So freaking wrong. Yeah, they reversed it. The judge gave him the whatever. He was sentenced to go. They tried pulling that shit the day he was sentenced. The judge said, no, he's been found guilty. You're going to jail. And he's been whining and complaining, put in a psych section, moved to a special cell so his Friggin' lawyers go in and like, oh, we have to get him out right away or he's danger of dying. Woo! So the judge suddenly changed his mind for a $150,000 bond and let his sorry ass out of fucking jail, which would have never happened to you, to anybody else, unless you happen to be as rich and famous as this little bastard. It's wrong. It's mm-hmm. fucking wrong. One thousand dollars a day for bond, hundred fifty days in jail. Okay, pass a thousand dollars a day. We'll let you free. So, is it about the fact that he did something wrong, 
or is it about the money? It's about the money. Come on. I mean, it was said he best. He whined there, but... loud enough. Did you see the putts in court when he stood up? I'm not suicidal. I'm if not anything guilty. happens to me, I'm not suicidal. Buying into yeah. that whole bullshit line. Yeah. And he gets out. And he gets out. Freaking wrong. It, 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 it's with. I didn't do this. I'm not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. Yeah. We care. Your Honor, I'll I tell you what. You. Your Honor, I respect you. I respect your decision, but I did not do this. I'm not suicidal. If anything happens to me when I go there, do you know, you know that? Uh, filed a motion. The, the, his lawyers filed a motion after um, to have the actor released from jail pending his appeal. Mr. Smola has become the target of vicious threats in social media forums, which many people threat people on social media. Come on, look at Crazy Joe. Uh, which uh, no doubt reflects the hatred and wish for physical harm towards Smollett which he may experience during incarceration. No. You mean to tell me if you go to prison, you could get fucked up? You could go ahead and get physical now, harm? It. Don't tell me they could rape you. No, that doesn't Somehow happen. Somehow by people, yeah. I mean, and you watch what happened in the court. He stands up and does his blah shit. There's a cop behind him just watching. Not doing a damn thing. Yeah. You turn on Lifetime or A and E or whatever fucking program that shows a court, and you can watch videos of people blowing their shit in a courtroom. And the first thing that happens is all the sheriffs tackle their asses to the ground and shackle them and drag them out of there. What happens to Smollett? I'm innocent. I'm not suicidal. Oh. And, and, and the, the cops just sit there fucking watching until somebody gives them permission to take him away. That doesn't happen in the real world to anybody else. Where, where the hell are the taser guns? Because that would have been awesome. I'm not so. Oh, and then we'd be listening to some other bullshit. But I mean, bottom line, you stand up in some courtroom and act like a complete jerk and start yelling and screaming. They're going to tackle your ass down. They're going to freaking cuff you like there's no tomorrow. They're going to drag your ass backwards, whatever it takes, out of that courtroom. Nobody's going to stand there and watch you act like an idiot and start yelling at everybody and flaring your arms around, and nobody does anything. That is just not the real world. This guy is so privileged, it's not even funny. It's disgusting. Well, he did say, Your Honor, I respect you. I mean, at least he said that, right? Whatever. It's like. No offense, but and then you say something offensive. Go <laughs> watch some of these court shows, and I I would I've dare anyone. Them. I would <laughs> dare anybody to show me more instances Money. of people doing that shit and not getting tackled and dragged out. Because hmm, hmm, hmm. I've looked, I've actually watched some of them. Yeah, and 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 uh, the first thing they do when they start acting like that is drag them the fuck out. Doesn't matter, male, female, yeah. black, white, doesn't matter. As soon as you start acting like a dick, they drag your ass the fuck out. Don't be a dick. Don't be a but fool. But if you're Jesse Solette, no. Nah. little privilege. I doubt that people like him have ever worked an honest day in their lives. Why should they? You know, when you're privileged like that, why do you need to? Nope. Honestly, I mean, let, let, let's let's think of that. If you grew up in it with a privileged privileged life, you got everything going for you. Why should you have to lift a fucking finger? Why? Can't appreciate a damn thing. That's for no, sure. no. Who gives a shit if you appreciate it or not? You don't have to lift a finger. If you're I've met many, of- I have met many, and I've yet to become good friends with one because I just can't put up with people who bitch about the dumbest first world shit you ever heard in your life. Ah, they didn't have it in my favorite country. Whatever the fuck it is. Oh, I'll have to put this together. Oh, isn't this? It's, please, give me a fucking break. All right? I'm sorry. I can't believe that. And so Jesse Smollett played. You got money. Bye-bye. He played in the Mighty Ducks under Terry Hall, one of the the brothers there from... uh, I'm talking about the. He, it was him as his brother, the Mighty Ducks. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't know about that. Cute little oh, kid then. That makes me. That makes me. Wasn't a grown ass everything. whining bastard. Yeah. I hate whining. God, yeah. I hate whining. And well, that's you know, all he's done is whine. And his whining has gotten him out of fucking jail when he's been convicted. Fucking convicted. Mm -hmm. So he got enough money, you know, just like Bill Cosby. Got enough money. He publicly came out as gay during the interview of the Ellen DeGeneres show back in 2015. So. Okay. He, he likes penis. Goody. <laughs> Uh, Knock yourself let's, out, Buttercup. Back in 2019, the city of Chicago filed a lawsuit of uh, the Circuit Court of Cook County against Smollett for the cost of about $130,000 of overtime uh, authorities' expense investigating a hoax uh, that he went ahead and did. Smollett filed a countersuit against the city of Chicago, alleging he was the victim of a mass public ridicule and harm and arguing that uh, should not be made to be and reimbursed the city for the cost of the investigation. Fucking. Right. All, all, all this by filing a false police report. And it, you know what's not in there? How much that was diverted to him, how many lives did that cost? Yeah. How many injuries did that cost? How many beatings did somebody take because that son of a bitch fucked with 911? Just like somebody else we know. There yeah, is Krabs. zero excuse for why doing wasn't, that. Why wasn't Mr. Krabs went ahead and sentenced to all this uh, time in jail? And then, as far uh, as I know, the trial's still going on. What? But there's seven. My understanding was that there were seven counts of misuse of 911 services. He didn't go as far as uh, Jesse Smollett. Jesse yeah. Smollett went so far that there were detectives and investigators, all this crap going on. Oh my God, you know, what's going on? And the diversion of resources really pisses me off. Some of those cops, how do you know what they were working on? Were they working on a missing child case? What yeah. were they working on? What did they get pulled the fuck off of for this bogus shit? How many people got diverted? Did I seriously, it's an entirely plausible theory that I have. And it's entirely possible that somebody died because of him diverting services. Oh, yeah, because you're taking away. You're taking away all this uh, this this power of going to one area, and it could be helping somebody else. Yep. So or stopping somebody else. Maybe they stop a wrong way driver before he hits a car. Yeah, right. Before you're peeling out mom, dad, and two kids who are dead. You know, it's just having worked in the nine in 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 nine one one, having been on the ambulance. Some of the things you go to, you don't know. You don't know what the hell you're going to until you get it. You get an idea, but when you show up, it can be all bets are off. And in there, I've been in situations where I've watched and been a part of the crew that literally saved somebody's life because we got there in time to do it. Because so this, we had the services we needed. So this whole thing's been going on for th over three years. Yep. And finally, three years, 150 days. That's all you get? And you, you know how much money taxpayers that? are paying for this bullshit. And you're bitching about 150 days in a yep. cozy little fucking cell in yep. maximum security. Really? Yep. And you know they're gonna keep his ass by himself because of who he is and all that shit. They're not gonna have him in Gen Pop. No, it's not gonna happen. Just and like, there's the way things you know, come on, bullshit, bullshit. So wait a minute, does that work does for anybody have else? Do, color, do you think? No. I don't nope. know. Absolutely. I'm if just he, saying, it's cause... not, it's not the color of his skin. It's who he is. Any, uh, show me another black man who can stand up in court and behave that way and not get tackled. <laughs> Bullshit. Any uh, other that's... person black, but that's, but that's white, what I'm saying is maybe they held off and they gave him leniency because of it. I don't think so. I think it's because he has rich, powerful fucking lawyers that kept throwing shit into the works and causing things to get drug out. It shouldn't have, it wouldn't have been like that had it have been John Q. Public. No, of course John not. John Q. Public would have been arraigned in the trial and it would have been all been done within a, a, a month, a year or so. You bring, shit, you bring that shit to Judge Judy. It's done in 30 minutes. Just saying. It, it's, it, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> She always yells at people, though. I what? I like she yells at people. Oh well, you know what? This bitch need to be yelled at. This, this little, pisses me oh. off because it's all about 
his money. That's what's getting him out of that jail cell is this fucking money. There's probably some poor schmo in the same fucking jail that deserves to get out more than him. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Or, or probably, got convicted of a much lesser crime and is doing more time than him. Somebody probably got pro- probably got uh, arrested for holding like maybe you know a, a couple of ounces of weed and is doing two years. Yeah, yeah. There are people in jail right now on convictions of cannabis related things in states that are legal. <laughs> We're still oh. trying to undo the damage of that. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. You know what? You could have it all will over states. time. It will over time. Absolutely. Well, yeah, because you're seeing you're seeing more and more states actually adopt it. I think as soon as we get rid of the old the old people here from Florida, we can actually finally go ahead and have an overwhelming majority voted in. No, that's not going to work. We got to get rid of the old people that are fucking voting up in Congress if we're going to change anything. If we can't change the uh, the classification, we're we're never going to get things to be just totally legal and fine. Meanwhile, Massachusetts, just to the south of this wonderful state of New Hampshire, has like funded, I don't know how much in freaking millions in education from the sales that they have of cannabis. Colorado, same thing. Colorado, so good. They had to give refunds to their people. No way. Just like Alaska does. Alaska residents on a regular basis get a refund from the state government because of the oils up there, all the oil that the state gets, it makes in the the constitution is written as such as that once the budget is is matched, they can't keep excess to have to give it back to taxpayers, and that's what's happened in a number of states. Well, it happened not a number. I make it sound like it's too much. It happens on a regular basis in Alaska, but it's now happening in Colorado, can, and I'm sure it's other places. Can I ask you this though? Alaska has all the oil, you know, a, a lot of oil. Yep. Why is their gas prices the fifth highest? Good question. Good question. On average, and I honestly do not have an answer for you. Alaska regular gas, $4.73 a gallon as of today. California, well, Hawaii, and Nevada, one, two, and three. Washington State, which is $4.73. But I'm over here thinking, why was why is the West Coast always getting screwed? Because all these states here in the top, the top seven are all West Coast. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Alaska. The state of Alaska has uh, five operating refineries with a combined process capacity of about 164,000 barrels of crude oil per calendar day. Two of the ref- uh, that's just where they are supply. F- yeah, I mean, I'm. See, I'm taking. The Alaskan piper pipeline yeah. still functions normally. Oh wait a minute, that was as of. No, no, it still does. Why does it cost so much there? Hmm. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure. Why is it costing much? So if you take a look at this, what we already told you about, and you know, I apologize for my listeners. It's it's it is what I thought. It's the it's the lack of having enough refineries. Though they produce a lot of crude oil, the state lacks the refinery capacity to meet the demand. So look they end up paying for they end up paying so much because of shipping. Look crude at the look, look, out of the ground. But look at the map. Look at the yep. map. Everything yep. on the west coast is high. In yep. the middle, right but in the in the well, the middle of the state, low as can be. Because I, I don't understand that. There's a lot of, you know, with uh, I've been reading up a lot about this stuff lately with the gas prices and stuff. And it's it's interesting to see this because it comes back to the same thing. Not enough refineries. So wow. we've got the crude, but not enough ways to refine it. So the infrastructure is not there to meet the demand. So this is what I said. I said something about this on Matt's show the other day. This is where I would say take a play out of Trump's playbook and incentivize industries to make more refineries, to refine more of our own crude, thereby reducing our expenses while we're simultaneously working on renewable energies because it's not going to last forever. But if we don't have the infrastructure, the prices are going to consistently be too high. Yeah. We need more refineries. That's what I'm seeing with all of this is that we don't have enough to make our own. We could be pretty self-sufficient if we had more refineries, if 
the oil companies themselves would pull more shit out of the ground in some regards because they do have the ability, but they choose to not use it. The permitting is there for them to do it. So they've got the structure. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Whatever. And then you think about that West Coast, you guys got a lot more ga taxes out there. California is insane on their taxation. Yeah. But what uh, I'm reading here says a lot of what Alaska people are paying for is shipping. The cost of shipping. Shipping for what? To get refined oil they can use. They're paying it in shipping. Yep. Uh, e Easy G says my sister lives in Maui and gas uh, prices and everything's expensive, but the price you pay to live in paradise, that's the price you live with to pay in paradise. Yeah, I think Hawaii is in the $5 range on average. So Alaska actually ships their oil to refineries in California and Texas, and then they're shipped back to Alaska to be used by consumers. Yeah. That's where the shipping cost is coming from. $5.08 in Hawaii. Wow. Now, there is news that the price has dipped down of oil, of crude oil. It has gone down a little bit. I thought it went over 110 it did go over 110. It actually has gone down, though. Let me check the, the price real quickly here. So this is... Yeah, I wonder like, what it is now. What is this? I know the other day it had jumped to 110. Let me, let me take a look here. So crude oil. Oil price. Because I thought it actually it went down below 100. Oh, I think you're right. I do think I remember hearing something about that. Yeah, everything's under 100 right now. Bent crude is at 98.02 at this. Dropped 30% yesterday. This is awesome. That so is that may that may mean when it's time for me to go, we may it see may a dip not. in price. Maybe. That would be awesome. Because I got another couple of weeks to go. We might see these prices start flowing into gas stations. It literally gives me anxiety. I just came across a sentence in Barron's and it says prices have now nearly retreated to pre-war levels. To think of that pre-war levels. Yeah. No, just that statement. Pre-war, like this thing's gone on for years. No, just that we're at war. Well, we're not technically at war, but the no. world. It's, it's so it's horrifying. Tense. It's horrifying. Like what? What's that clock? The doomsday clock? Did I want? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, I haven't even I'm... looked at it. It's probably at one Hold one on. hundredth of a second. One hundred seconds to midnight. What time? Oh wait, here. Never mind. Is yeah. That the closest what? it's ever been. One hundred seconds to midnight. A cold what's the closest it's ever been? That's a good question. See, I don't trust that clock because you know what? It's probably an hour behind. Okay, so a hundred seconds is as close as it's been, if I'm reading this right. Let me see. One minute before midnight, meaning the clock status. Uh, what's the closest to midnight the doomsday clock has ever been? A hundred seconds. On January 20th, it went to a hundred seconds. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. The closest it's ever been to the apocalypse is what this one says. So, yeah, it's the closest it's ever been right now. I hate you for bringing that up. I just don't like you anymore. I did need to see that. Fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> Where's my kitties? I need my it's kitties. Okay. It's okay. It's not okay. Yes, it is. It's okay. I don't like you no more. Relax. Oh, fuck you. I think you... I think you're close to using it up there. Damn it. Where's Crystal? I don't know. Oh, hey, look. There's Easy G in the, in the YouTube feed. Oh, is he in the YouTube now? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 said, yeah I see. Said, I, my I, sister lives in Maui, and gas prices and everything is expensive, but it's the yeah. price you paid. Oh, I saw. You said, okay. Yeah, I was behind the eight ball. Oh, Mikey's in there, too. Yep, Mike's in. When are you uh, coming you... up, Charles? Huh? So two and a half weeks. I'm leaving the 31st. And hopefully we'll be arriving somewhere in the Northeast in a day or two. If you can, when it gets close enough, 
try and give me like a good time and date certain so we can try and like get everybody together and see well yeah i mean uh, i'm not going to have the exact time and date because of traffic and everything but i could definitely probably tell you i know that i mean like general I'm gonna have we to can, find like out. narrow shit down. I'm gonna have to find that out anyway. Why go to check into the hotel? Hey, is my room ready? It's nine o'clock in the morning, Mr. Richardson. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> check in. Drive- you can always do early check in, it's a little extra. You have to drive around for six hours for a room. <laughs> yeah, I know you can do early check in on most times. But oh uh, hell no. I'll get you food buckets ready, easy G said. Seriously, if you take a look, there are a lot of these apocalyptic people out there that are way the fuck out there. They are this shit going on now. Oh my god, they're the way. Wait, there's stuff about um how they're expecting Russia to go after Israel because that would be one of the signs needed for the second coming. You know what? That all nations will rise up against Israel. So now they're, which I don't understand how that translates to just Russia, but apparently it can in certain realms, which is why you need to send them more money to get heirloom seeds. Yeah. Let let me go. Let me go ahead and take that, take all that money out of my ass. It may be brown and a little stinky, but you can take it. There's this guy, um, there's there's a podcaster I like called the Tale Telltale. Telltale, I think it is, or Tell Truths. Mm. He's um, he, he he likes to uh, expose things that are like off the rock or their religion wise and stuff, and talk about some of the shit that happened to him, um, growing up in in the Jehovah's Witnesses. But he's showing this guy who's talking about what's going on right now, and he's literally in front of the camera like this, Charles. He's got his phone in his hand. And he's supposedly talking, oh, he's talking in tongues. Now he literally is going back and forth his phone. Uh, uh, this is apparently the new version of tongues. And Lord, and and is Lord. He's literally just insane. Seriously. The guy was doing that and he's doing it with his phone and he's checking his fucking messages while he's supposedly talking in tongues about the apocalypse we are now approaching. And people send these people money. You know what? Send your money to the Ukraine. Send it to the Red Cross. Don't send it to these fucktards. I'm actually going to do the rest of the show in tongue. No. Yes. No. The rest of the show in tongues. No. While showing my tongue. Meh. You, you, you really? I will put that thing away. It's embarrassing. Uh, by the way, you got an announcement. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. So Rob from Robin Slim. Oh, really? Has messaged me. Yeah. And he says, Hey, I've been meaning to reach out to you. Wanted to have you on a live show for a interview. And I said, Awesome. Cool. When will you want? April 7th, April 6th, would you uh, be able to do it? I'm thinking, I'm going to be in New England that day. Oh, tell him where you're going to be. He'll think that's awesome. Oh, I already did. Yeah, I actually told him I was going to be in uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire for about a week and a half and uh, planning on invading uh, Connerton's show. And he says, yes. okay, May 27th at 830. There you go. I, I, don't know, I don't know if they do it live or if they pre-record it, but whatever it is, I'm going to be on I Robin's on May 27th. I'm pretty sure they're live. Are they? And then they break up stuff. Yeah. They're live. Yep, yep. I, I went ahead and took a look at them. Are they ending their show? Yeah, this is their last season. Wow. They have like, I don't know how many seasons. Oh my God, there's like 14 or some odd. Yeah. Yeah, lots. Yeah, so I'll be Hopefully on there. Hopefully they'll go into some other, some other stuff or maybe some side projects or yeah. There's a lot of things you could do. I know. <laughs> no, I love them. But, They're awesome. But um, yeah, I'll be on the Robin Slim on uh, May 27th. Cool. Yeah. I know uh, Dirk just uh, finished a interview with them and that, that's been posted. So kind of anxious to hear that. See how that goes. Maybe get maybe get prepped for Stop any type it. of weirdness you that could happen. Prepped. You don't need to be prepped. <laughs> yeah. What is this bullshit? I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just kidding. Maddie's in the chat room. Yeah, that was like five minutes ago. He's probably not listening no more. You know, (laughs) fuck you. Uh, What's going on here? 
Easy G. Jenny, get your food. Back. All right, we already said that. Clyde Lewis is a radio guy from uh, Portland, Oregon, for 25 years plus. Is all over the food buckets, and yep. he sells that show on the sells that shit on his show every night. Yeah, Matt's actually probably the only one on Facebook right now watching me. Everybody else is on YouTube, which is good. I'm glad I'm on YouTube because damn YouTube it, this is good. Facebook yes, there's is, chatter uh, in the chat room. Facebook has pissed me off. Eric says that Clyde Lewis sells those uh, food buckets every night. Yeah, I believe it. I, I believe it. And you know what the people right, who are right. selling you that shit do? Buy boats yeah. and cars and houses. Yeah, it's 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 Rich. amazing. It's amazing. You read that comment like you know, literally almost thirty seconds after I read it. It's amazing. Anyway, fuck so, you. At least anyway. I'm trying. <laughs> Let's take a break so Jenny's batteries can recharge. Yes, I have uh, to feed the kitties. Yep, we got the creeping chaos and Silver loves Mercury coming at you. Seven minutes of rock and roll with along with a bit, and then we'll be right back here on the Charles Richardson show. Hey, stay tuned. Off to grab a beer. We'll be right back after this. Too much 
Fifty-three. We are well into our number two numero dos here on the Charles Richardson radio <laughs> program. Here from the you know, fabulous studios of WRTO Radio. I don't have a number, so I don't know. <laughs> 95. The greatest form of flattery is imitation. <laughs> right. Um, and we are proudly not sponsored by anybody, but we do show love to our friends over there at Hulk Homing and Contracting. They're the team to go ahead and handle all of your home improvement needs, car repairs, and much, much more. Odd jobs are their nature. They go ahead for go ahead and call them for a free estimate. 941-204-1264 to set up an estimate. Hard work, fair prices, that is what they do. Hall calling and contracting, 941-204-1264. If you live in Florida, preferably in the southwest area, go ahead and give them a call. They'll be over there lickety split. Any further, well, we may need to make some scheduling arrangements. But go ahead and give them a call anyway, 941-204-1264. Just say hi. Wow, we're up to four listeners now. <laughs> Two people on Facebook. God damn. That's awesome. There's two others on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube has actually taken quite a hit. I'm actually good with that. Uh, Ukraine actually is joining the European power grid, ending its dependence on Russia. That's awesome. That is that is really good news right there. Even if there is, if it's not in the good news section, very happy to hear that. Engineers have a link Ukraine's electricity grid. Spanning much of the continent of Europe, allowing the country to decouple its power system from the hostile Russia official said on Wednesday. Belgium-based ENSO-E, which represents dozens of uh, transmission system operators in Europe, said the electricity grids of Ukraine and its smaller neighbor, Moldova, were successful in synchronizing with the continental European power system on a trial basis. So, yes, very big thing going on that that should keep Ukraine at least um, at least have the lights on while the bombs keep coming down. He's totally fucked himself. I mean, things that people but, norm, were getting from Russia, they're now going to get from somewhere else. And, and, and then, I don't think any, there's going to be a lot of things that aren't going to be too keen on going back to Russia anytime soon. So they fucked themselves listen, for the next generation. You know. You're completely screwed when McDonald's closes down their operations in your country. And they were going to, they're trying, they, there was a thing that they were going to try and nationalize it because, you know, that's what you do is you just take something over with the government. That's how they work and try and like sell them that way and um, take all the assets, take the stores and everything and try and run them themselves. Yeah, right. I can't Good wait luck. to see how that works out. Yeah, just 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 look at how he's running the the army over there. Just great, like slaves, and they don't even want to be there. They don't want to be there. They they, they want to go home. Can we just? There've been home? stories about Russian troops sabotaging their own shit. Yep, I don't blame them. It's kind of nuts. I mean, just I mean, they might have felt it might have been different in the beginning, but now that they're all in there and they're on the ground, they can obviously see they're not shooting at Nazis. Yeah. You they shoot realize Grandma and May May. They realize it's like, what the hell are we doing here? And like like we had mentioned before on earlier shows, you know, a lot of them were promised, eh, we'll we'll be in and out in a couple of weeks or a couple mm -hmm. of days or whatever. A couple of days, three days. Yeah. It'll be over by then. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there's one. Uh, we're talking about Alaska. The governor of Alaska is responding to a demand from a Russian lawmaker that says, give us Alaska back. What? 
Yeah. Really? A Russian lawmaker has reportedly demanded that America return Alaska to his country amid U.S.-led sanctions against Russia. He <laughs> also asked for Fort Ross, located in California, as part of his requested return all Russian properties. Speaking on an evening talk show on Sunday, Oleg Makhachka, a member of the Russian parliament, listed off his country's future demands, according to the Daily Beast. We, and he says, we should be thinking about reparations from the damage that was caused by the sanctions and the war itself, because that, too, costs money and we should get it back. The return oh of all Russian properties, those oh, of the man. Russian Empire, the Soviet Union, and the current Russia, which have been seized in the United States and so on. Yeah, no, fuck yourself. When he asked if that included Alaska and Fort Ross, he said yes. And the governor, Mike Dunleavy from Alaska, responded saying, quote, good luck with that. Hmm. He also continued, now if we have something to say, not if we have something to say about it, we have hundreds of thousands of armed Alaskans and military members that will see it differently. Uh, Alaska's Republican Senator Lisa Murawski echoed Dunleavy in tweeting that uh, saying her state returning to Russia would never, never, ever happen. Uh, Return to Russia. According to the Alaska Public Lands Information Center, a Russian. Come and get it. But yeah, exactly. Come and get it. Come, <laughs> Come and fucking get it. We yeah. ain't giving it up. Yeah, you, you think you're you, in the shit now. You want it bad enough? Come on, bring it over here. What do they uh, say? Come and take it. Yeah, right. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They're gonna land here, they're gonna get their asses kicked, and they're gonna retreat. They're gonna retreat worse than French people do. Or the French army. I'm more have. worried about him nuking the world. Well, see, the thing is, you're right. He lets off that first nuke. We're all done, including him. Nobody wins this war. Nobody. If he fires off a nuke, it's over. We just go ahead and uh, we close down shop. We close down the Charles Richardson show. We close down the Matt Carrington show. We close down Crazy Joe. Calmington is my favorite. Calmington. Just saying. Calmington. Yeah, Calmington. Calmington. Well, it fits because he's a hypnotherapist. Corn Dogginton. That's mine. That was his favorite, I think. That's right. But yeah, we close everything down. What good does it do anybody to have nukes? Anybody. It's awful. You need it, And it then you, you And remember too in all of this shit, Ukraine is like we gave up all of our shit. We we gave up all our nuclear power on a promise that you would protect us. What yeah. the fuck? Fooled you. Now, one thing that Zelensky asked today, if we if he couldn't get what he wanted, which you know he wants the, the skies closed or at least a humanitarian closure over corridors. Is he talking about like a no fly zone? Yeah. No, we can't do that. And we all know why that, right? Yeah, right, right, right. right. But he followed it up by saying that if you couldn't do that, could you get we need more defensive armaments? We need to be able to defend ourselves. You know, they're asking for more missiles and more, you know anti-aircraft, whatever the fuck, to try and protect themselves. I think it's interesting that technology has played such a role in this because one of the things that's hindered Russia and helped Ukraine is the uh, dro uh, droids, listen to me, the, Droid. um, help me, <laughs> the drones. Help me, droids, help, help the me, drones. Because the Ukraine have drones and they have ones that can actually drop shit and blow stuff up. Yes. Russia apparently doesn't. Because supposedly Russia's request of China was drones, in part. In part. Hey. I haven't heard anything more on that, actually, now that I mentioned it. I haven't heard anything more on China's response. You would think, honestly, China's response, like, you know, whatever whatever they end up doing, they, they have the power to do anything they want. I mean, they got one of probably the most heavily armed arsenals in the world. Russia's right up there. Honestly. Sounds like they're not as well put together as people thought, though. They seem to be using a lot of older equipment. They they, they seem and, to be a lot. They, they seem to be very good on paper, 
but they're but not a, I don't yeah. know. It's like I they don't, don't have know. any. They don't have brains not, or anything. It's interesting how that's worked out. And I'm grateful for it. It's you them falling apart. It's what's keeping Ukraine from being 100% in their hands. Can you can you imagine if China was all just a big smoke screen? If anybody found out that China was just a big smoke screen, well, they, oh, we have, we have all this power. We have all this army. We can overtake anybody. Try it. And somebody does. Okay. Sorry. We thought that was enough just to get you guys scared. I'm just saying China could be just one big smoke screen and they don't, they don't have anything. At least they don't know how to use anything. It's like, you know, Given given China Viagra, and use it well, wisely, and they get this big head for like twenty hours, and it's like they don't know how to use it. They don't know what to do with it. What I'm looking at, I'm looking at Time Magazine that published an article about an hour ago, and there, from what I'm reading, it doesn't seem that China is really given an answer yet. The it's 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 they. They're trying to deal with. It's like they're, it, they're trying to ride the middle. They don't want to piss off Russia, but they also don't want to bring a world of hurt down on themselves. And they're dealing with a resurgence of COVID that's knocking their asses down. They have 51 million people in lockdown because of this variant in China, and now Russia's going, "Hey, come play." Hey, we started a war. Do you know they have 51 million people in lockdown for 3,700 COVID patients? Makes you think how really tight-lipped they are. This is super, yeah. This is, this. Uh, of course, the more it mutates, the stronger, the easier it is to pass along. So it's easy to transmit. They're trying to stop it, but they're already back to like May 2020 levels or something like that. And I'm like, I'm like looking at America. And it's like, oh, everybody thought we were the laughing stock. <laughs> Look at China. Look at China. Look and they screen. know that if they do anything to help Russia, they're going to bear the brunt of sanctions against themselves. But and can they you, afford those? But here's the thing, and and this and this is what confuses me. I'm over here thinking China's this big one, one big, huge, financial yeah. success over there. Do they really care if they get sanctioned? Yeah, they do. They, they have a lot of goods that they sell worldwide. They make a lot of money off of Americans. Sanctions will hurt them. But um, Absolutely my guess is, will hurt them. My guess is, okay, so America, you don't want China, China stuff? Well, all right, we'll send it over here, and then our prices go up. Because that's cheap. That, that, that's cheap stuff we're getting from them. I mean, come mm. on. You ever, you, you ever go to these party cities? Fireworks. Oh, are, I know. Oh, are cheap. I know. I know. I know. Fireworks are cheap. I want. I want fireworks. And fireworks come here, New Hampshire. They're legal. We have fireworks stores. Oh, we have fireworks stores over here too. It's that. That's. Not, I wasn't sure. That that that, that wasn't. That's. You have sparklers. Well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we have sparklers. No. <laughs> See, here's the thing. We have a governor that allows us to run rampant anywhere with the with the pandemic. You honestly think he's going to go ahead and shut down fireworks? Look at it. your governor declared the WWE World Wrestling bullshit entertainment as essential as work, essential right workers, right. which is the equivalency of an EMC. Do you realize? Do you realize that? Moron. And you he realize was Florida, president. Wait, 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 wait. Do you realize that Florida now has a a uh, a Surgeon General or whatever? Florida is the only state in the country that is not recommending. The vaccine, like they are against the vaccine. Yes, I know. You you realize that? You people are fucked. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. I used oh. to want to live down there. Not so much. Matt opened up his uh, financial uh, calculator. Says China's in a recession. They can't afford the sanctions. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought China was this big monstrosity of freaking money that just way too many people. In. They have way too many people. In play in their their country, they have way too many people, but the government owns all their shit and spends a lot. I guess so. Whether or not their uh, debt ratio it works is I don't know. See, that's the one thing I commend Trump about. If he's going to go ahead and hold college football players and people visiting the White House, 
You know, he doesn't overspend. He goes to McDonald's. That was so great. ridiculous. That is great. He's go to the White House and get McDonald's. Yeah. What the fuck? Get a Once in a lifetime opportunity. Have a Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. No. no that McMuggie. was awful. That was really awful. And of course, they're going to say, oh, yeah, we love it. You're the goddamn president. They're not going to fucking disagree with you, you right. dumbass. Oh, yeah. That, exactly. He didn't know how to deal with getting no for an answer. That's another thing about those people. No is not something in their vocabulary that they comprehend. It is not they allowed. They just pump their fists and jump up to down and have a little temper tantrum and get what they want anyway. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> oh, my God. So I... Hang on a second. So I've heard the outburst. Obviously, no, no Spidey toys on Friday. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a bedtime ritual. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Sorry, sweetie. No, that's all right. Oh, this is in the studio, making her way, and she and she is dressed up, or well, she I was. Can't. You can't. Are we sure we're ready to be on here? You can take a minute. You know that, right? No, because I'm expected to be in here. You can take a minute. Give me one second because... Yeah. Be right back. Okay. Get your camera. I was working on it. Yeah, I had literally just moved out of the seat. So you there you just go. moved out of the seat. I, I moved my I got up to because I thought you'd be a minute, so I got up for a second and then you came I was, back. I was, about, I, I, was about, I was a couple minutes. Not Not, no. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. So Russia is, according to some of the reports I'm looking at here, I think, what am I looking at here? CNBC. Russia sees China as a lifeline against sanctions, but the U.S. is threatening consequences. So they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. If they help Russia, they're going to get fucked by us. If they don't help Russia, they're going to get fucked by Russia. But aren't they looking and they're for in the reason? middle of a pandemic. So, hey, they, they're fucked. But aren't they looking for a reason to get pissed off at us anyway? Like, don't they want a reason to get into a war with us or something? No, I don't think they want a reason to. They prefer their style of government to ours. Well, yeah, I get that. Hello, Chiquita. Chiquita I'm liking the ears. They, yeah. So, yeah, Alyssa's got the, the, the green bow, which at least somebody in the state is, is wearing green. I got I, green. I would like to have my green hair, but I don't have On it. On my nails. That's it. Just... Oh. Well. Just relax, Charles. Relax. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I had <laughs> no idea. I had no idea I was that out off the chain. Holy shit. Well, I've been hearing about this green hair since the moment I got on the phone with you on my way home. Yes, because it's not green anymore. It's purple. Purple, purple hair color. Apparently the lid color. I bet you somebody oh. came through and went, I'm gonna fuck people up and just yeah. Thank you very probably much. probably what happened. Thank you very much, assholes. Fuck you. So take it back to the store and get green. Yeah, but that doesn't help me for tonight. You will not have a purpose if you 
keep putting it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, Lord. And I'm over here seeing all. You know what? I actually was just browsing on Facebook like I normally do. And I actually saw somebody, you know, renting out a one bedroom, one bath apartment for $800. Yeah. That's not bad, right? No. You consider that's not bad. One bedroom, one bath, all to yourself, 800. Found out it's an RV. Well, that's not so great. <laughs> no, it's not. Does it have air conditioning? I did not see. Nope, it did not. I Does it come? It do you have to pump the septic yourself? Inquiring minds want to know. I really hope not. Generous ball. Really hope not. Maybe your hose is hooked up hey. to the house next to yours. <laughs> I'm always wondering if it doesn't have electricity. I mean, you would think it does. It's it is a it, it was a uh, just plug it into somebody's house, right? Oh, Alyssa's not going to like this. Oh boy, Calif a California city is thinking about declaring Chick Fil A a public nuisance. Really? What the yeah. fuck? Uh, I don't know why you say I'm not going to like that. I don't live in California. It doesn't do me any problem. But no, it's just your, <laughs> your, your one of your favorite fast food places is being called a public nuisance. You would think that had something to do with like McDonald's or or Wendy's or something. Uh, the last several years, Santa Barbara said it has received several complaints about cars in the drive through line backed up in the nearby streets, which has caused traffic problems, including collisions. Um, well, that must be a really sucky Chick Fil A because every <laughs> Chick Fil A I've ever been to was really good. The drive through doesn't back up that long. Oh, uh, it, it backs up, but some some back up in other plazas. Uh, transportation engineer Derek Bailey told the Santa Barbara Press News that State Street is one of the city's most important streets for moving people and goods. It was never intended to operate with significant blockage, kind of like all my major arteries. The report is. I thought you were going to talk about your bowels. Yeah. Well, that. Well, I don't have many. Never mind. Uh, a report conducted by the city's public works department stated on the weekdays cars lined up for Chick fil A one block of the lanes on the state up to 91 minutes. That number grows to 155 minutes on weekends. That's a long not, fucking time. Not, on not Sunday. Sundays. Not su Sundays. You shouldn't have that problem. If it is, it's not Chick fil A. They're closed. Oh, are they one of those? They are one of those, yep. The uh, the news press of council member Christian Sneedon was saying they are so successful they've outgrown their site. It's possible they've they've over uh, they were oversized for that site to begin with. I'm telling you, Chick fil A Chick fil A number one has got the best drive through service ever. Nah. I will don't don't Dairy Queen. Anime. Dairy Queen has the best service. So when you line up in Chick Fil A, not our Dairy Queen. When you line up for for Chick Fil A, <laughs> you're in a dual drive through with one line that splits off into two. When you come to that point, you could be backed up forty cars deep. You're still getting your food in ten minutes or less. That's how quick they are. They have that shit to a science. I don't know how, but they do. Whether they're just making that food faster than everybody else, having it ready like everybody else, or whatever, it's it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. I mean that that I don't know about Dairy Queen's drive through, but I do know that um, I know that when Matt and I go there, it's always moving. It's very rarely that we have to wait at all. We That's put on our order and everything is fresh and hot and lovely and we're out and we're on our way. And that's but exactly... we don't do fast food that much, so I know. That's that's the problem. I'm not a fair assessor. And and that's and that's where the uh, the the Chick-fil-A is is that it always is moving. It's not no. really not moving that much. Dunkin' Donuts is even better. Because Dunkin' Donuts, I we pull into the line. I put my order in electronically. When we get up to the speaker, we say who my order is. And then we just go right through. And it's all paid. No muss, no fuss, and leave. You can do that at Chick-fil-A, too. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Every place has an app now. Every place. True. True you enough. Can, you can order, pre-order. 
get you know the, the get the the skip the lane crap and everything like that. Most people, oh my eat- god. When I go to Sam's Club, Sam's Club is you know the the where the warehouse store like Costco or BJ's. When I go to Sam's Club, I am literally shopping there, scanning my items on the app and everything like that. I'm paying for stuff on the app, and I see people lining up, kind of like how Chick Fil A lines up, waiting to cash. I'm thinking, app people don't think about that. I don't know the line for Sam's Club is ridiculous. Ridiculous! The checkout lines at Sam's Club. At times, yes. If you go and there, I don't early, do none of this. Sh- I see, this is another thing. You know, when I want to get like some staples that are the same at every grocery store, I'll go to Walmart, do the uh, online. Matt goes through, picks it up, brings it home. No muss, no fuss. When I want good produce and shit, I go to Hannaford's, do the same thing. They always pick me out good stuff. Matt brings it home for me. The before the the pandemic, we did eat a lot more like fast food stuff. But during this whole pandemic, we've actually gotten more home oriented with food and in eating, actually eating a little healthier. Yeah, yeah we with the opposite. Here. Yeah, yeah, we actually were cooking a lot more before the pandemic. During the pandemic, it's like I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> order, order, order. But it's not always fast food. I mean, we'll go Olive Garden. We'll go out back. We'll go chilies you know we'll go to like restaurant pickups and stuff like that uh, honestly it, it's bad to the point where we've even said to ourselves we gotta start cooking more and it's like we say that all the time and it's like we're still like do you feel like cooking no is there anything defrosted no do we what do you want to do for See, i'm i'm oh, the God. cooker i'm the cooker matt no cook I'm, matt no no I, cook. I am the i am the primary cooker 80 percent of the time but my cooking is like Rinse chickens, season chicken, yeah. throw it in the throw, throw it in the oven. I, I don't, ah. know, like, I don't have any like master recipes. You know, it's basic. So I've got a couple of recipes that I do well, but enchiladas seem to come out pretty good. Yeah. They're easy to make. I yeah. like that. And but he, I a lot of times I don't feel like cooking. For one thing, our kitchen is not clean <laughs> very often. It's so dishes a, that pile well, up because yeah, we have no dishwasher. Sink. And so then I'm like, I am the dishwasher. I <laughs> no, I get no. annoyed and I can't function because our kitchen's small. Yeah, and and so I just don't want to cook because if I don't. There gets want to be to too much going on in there. I do feel overloaded by it. Yeah, yeah. But I tr- now I've with I've changed a lot of my. How I function around the house, and I've intentionally taken this rule that so I found I was getting too dark, too down. So like I can't just sit here and and do this. This is not healthy. It's not good. So mm-hmm. I do like what I called my my three second rule. Like I'm gonna do those damn dishes, and I literally count to three and make myself get the fuck up. I put on music. I'll put on like Paul Simon or whatever, and just start singing along with it. And it's it gets me to get it done. But if I go in there and I don't do that and I just see the the dishes, I'll just want to cry and walk away. I don't know about crying, but we hang our heads in shame like, you know, we just got kicked off Survivor. There was a period of time where there were way too many people in my house that I would literally be in tears trying to clean the kitchen up because I would be that upset over it, trying to do it. Miriam well, is we're getting Mar- a new Mar- dishwasher soon. Miriam so. is listening <laughs> to us on Facebook and she says, hello, I'm not sure how long Facebook lasted for. Maybe a minute, maybe two. Uh, Billy is how long fast book tasted for. I mean, lasted for what the fuck <laughs> lasted, lasted. Billy, uh, bad Billy went ahead and messaged me on Facebook. Uh, apparently, he's here in the show. He wanted to just shout out real quickly. By the way, JoJo made a special video for me that's just ungodly gross. Yeah, don't watch it, just don't. Is it that bad? It is okay. I, I won't it watch it. I warned, I warned Matt not to watch it and then go eat. It's really disgusting. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. Is he like it's, naked or something? No, but he's okay. showing you pictures of a part of himself you don't want to see. Oh, my God. It Seriously? A, he, what he let out, he showed you. Oh, Lord. That was his version of saying what he wanted to do to Billy. That's... Anyway, do you Pretty want to disgusting? See, but but do you, but do you want to see something almost as equally as disgusting? No. Yes, you do. Here. No, I don't. 
Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Apparently, this one's been trying to get into the graces of people or what have you. And um, yeah, like he unblocked a bunch of people that he blocked. And now he's been trying to message people like somehow people are going to like take him back under the fold. Who's he trying to message that he blocked? By the a way, of, but, there's uh, been there's this I know of. I know of at least one, if not more, that he has messaged since he's unblocked. And he's even tried to finagle with Jojo the Dodo. And Jojo like actually did a video talking yeah. about him. We um so for those of you that can't see Facebook or YouTube and that you are listening <sighs> to one of our many affiliates, so there's a, not missing a anything. card. Well, you're not missing anything, but there is a little card, the North American Man Boy Love Association or NAMBLA. Has a member since 1988, Thomas Bennett, also known as DJ Loud, with his bald ass mug there, looking like he wants to murder somebody. And as a platinum it, it, contributor, yeah, he's no a pla platinum contributor. Platinum, Mr. Mr. Pedophile is a platinum contributor. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. and then he like sends messages to people playing the victim. Oh, don't do this. I do. It's not the fucking victim. I yeah. see. I have a problem with whiny people today. That is just the theme of what's gone on today. Whining gets you nowhere. Well, yeah, a lot of whining. If, Alyssa, uh, Jesse, Jesse Somalette, the one that got just got found guilty for fucking with the 911 system and pretending he was a victim of a hate crime. Through such a whining fit, they actually let the mofo out of fucking jail with some money during his appeal because having him in jail was just not okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, yeah. did you watch his fucking whiny shit in court? I didn't I'm see. not suicidal. Mm -hmm. Seriously, watch how this man behaved in court and imagine any other human, not him, trying to pull that off in a court and not end up on the floor covered by freaking sheriffs getting shackled and taken out. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's that's just. <laughs> it's just if crazy. you get enough money and you whine loud enough, you get what you fucking want. Yeah. I know right now you're on camera watch. So do you just want to save the good news till Friday? I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. That's fine. All right. So last story that we have going on. Um, if you go to a dentist in Wisconsin. Be prepared. There is a dentist that has been convicted of intentionally breaking patients' teeth so he could fix them. What? For years, a Wisconsin dentist has intentionally broken patients' teeth and then charged them for a crown procedure in order to fix the damage he caused. The dentist, Scott Charmoli, then filed claims with insurance companies and in pulling millions of dollars. Wow. 61 years old, Scott was. He ran the scheme between 2015 to 2019 when he sold his practice of uh, the Jackson family dentistry. In late 2020, he was indicted on several charges. On Friday, the federal jury convicted the former dentist of five counts of health care fraud, two counts of making false statements, and one count of being an asshole, according <laughs> to the news release of the U.S. Attorney's Office. Prosecutors said in 2015, Chamerley began aggressively trying to convince his patients to get crown procedures, even though they did not need them. He would show patients an x-ray of a line or space in their teeth and tell them that it was a fracture or some type of decay, according to the indictment. After the patient agreed to the crown, a procedure where a tooth is fixed using a cap, he would use his drill to break off a portion of the patient's tooth and fix it, he alleges. Uh, he would take off another x-ray of the broken tooth to submit to the insurance company. Uh, insurance companies assumed that these images of damaged represented the preoperative condition of the teeth and as a result paid the claims. Many of his patients also paid significant, significant co-pays for these crown procedures. That's a oh, point. They're super expensive. Yeah. yeah uh, he billed more than $4.2 million for crown wow. procedures between 2016 and 2019 from just one insurance company. Holy shit. According to the evidence gathered, he performed over a thousand crowns each year in 2015 and 2017. And then from 2017 
to 2019, he performed more than 700 each year. It looks like business went down a little bit. Uh, there was a patient that testified uh, saying he convinced him to get two crowns done at once, even though his teeth were not bothering them. Uh, he said it seemed excessive, but I didn't know any better. He was the professional, and I trusted him. Mm. In twenty in February 2021, his license was being suspended pending an investigation by the state's dentistry examining board. Uh, he also faces medical malpractice suits in Washington County, brought by nearly 100 former patients. The suits have been on hold pending the outcome of the federal criminal case. So this guy's just got stuff back to back. You know, he's probably going to go ahead and get sentenced to 150 days in jail, whine and bitch, and they'll let him out. <laughs> Maybe uh, they'll let him be a dentist in the jail. Just imagine that. I want to be a dentist. Do you want to fix some teeth? Maybe I'll break a few more. It's so gross. <laughs> uh, Nyla Robinson, who is the, uh, the dentist attorney, uh, says he certainly denies that he uh, that his hard earned wealth of many many years of dental practice at the forty to sixty hour a week range are the product of anything other than his own diligence, hard work, and good business acumen. Breaking a few teeth. Yeah, uh, he is scheduled to be sentenced in June. He faces a maximum of ten days. No, I'm kidding. A maximum of ten years in prison for each healthcare fraud conviction and five for each false statement conviction should be getting uh convicted criminally as well for the beating on his patients like that that should be an assault broke yeah, your no, tooth no shit right where are the assault charges on this i i don't think there are shit should be i think he was just just a bad dentist he needed some money bad dentist four Here. million take four take million that. Here, let me give you a crown. I don't How need fucked up do you have to be that four I, million is not enough? I had a tooth pulled because I didn't want to deal with the, what was it was going to be too much money to get a crown. Yeah, so I've had that happen. So I was just like, pull it. Yeah, just yank it. <laughs> yank so it out. It's cheaper to pull it than save it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I hear you. Been there, done that. I was 17. I got hit head on by a wrong way driver and all of this was shattered and put back into place so that as things got along, as I got older, they didn't stay so much. <laughs> it's yeah. Teeth are a nightmare. And once they start, I, once you have a problem, it just never gets better. Yeah. I um, had two teeth that two of my molars that came in, um, when they formed they didn't form right and so there was holes in them when they grew in Ooh. and so they put fillings in them when i was like a teenager when they came in and one of the fillings fell out and so that was the one i ended up having to have pulled because it the filling came out and then it got infected and everything else yeah oh geez that's terrible <sighs> That's I hate. Dentists. I hate dentists. I hate dentists. Oh too. my god! I hate doctors and dentists and everybody. Everybody in between. <laughs> I hate them all. I can actually meditate in the dental chair now. Oh, Jenny, go, no. Jenny, go ahead and uh, promote your your shizzle. In it, though. My shizzle. Check me out on JenCoffee.com. My newest article about making hella bread and meditating is now available on the Mighty. You can check that out also on my website. And, of course, you can hear this show and lots of other shows on IPMNation.com, your best station. Oh, okay. Maybe so. But you One can of the also, best stations. You can I can't visit. help it. I'm, I'm picky. I know. I know. You're invested. It's cool. Uh, I'm but invested. I'm also invested in Raw Talk Online Radio. That is the flagship station <laughs> for the Charles Richardson Show. Make sure I'm you a go bad ahead and, girl. Make sure you go ahead and visit that station for all your entertainment needs, from the morning show all the way to Matt Connerton from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Inside the mother mothership, and of course, this show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll be back for the Friday countdown. It is by that time, it will be two weeks till we he head out. By the way, oh my god, I have to see you in person! Yeah, I don't know if that it, it, it may not be that great. I'll, I'll just let you know. It'll be special, yes, it'll be special. Anyway, we'll see you then Friday. We're out of here. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Even though my world is black I can see a speck of light 
feeling stronger, feeling